why I don't like drawing portraits anymore. We live in a world that is filled with story and humans are emotional and social beings by nature. Lately I've been thinking about it and I, it just occurred to me that all this while my artwork has been missing this special ingredient of story. This is because I had been drawing only portraits and in most cases just one face on the drawing canvas. You can't convey relationships by drawing one face. Maybe you can, but of course it can be very difficult to do so. So I thought, what could be the sure way of bringing story to my artwork? Well, for starters, I can draw multiple people interacting. Um, that could be a sure way to convey the emotional and social traits people have. This sketch is going to be the first of my journey to learning how to tell better stro stories with my art. All story, trying to be patient, because <laughs> let's face it, drawing multiple characters in a composition takes a whole lot of time. <laughs> but I will forget the fact that the drawing has to be pretty and just concentrate on the, um, I concentrate on the story making, uh, making some characters smile, drawing other characters sad, some characters will be young, other characters will be old, and best of all, I will enjoy the sketching process, because ultimately, um, the entertainment value of drawing is the reason why I started drawing in the first place. It was never about having pretty drawings. It was always an emotional release for me to uh, always spend my sad days drawing, my very happy days. So uh, about this point in time, I'm almost finishing my rough sketch phase. As you can see, I have the characters in place. And um, now it's time to draw the bike. Because all these people in East Africa here, we have these motorcycles that are used for transportation. And then you find some people that are trying to cut costs all seated on like one motorcycle, you find like three people sitting on the motorcycle. In this case, I exaggerated this by making them four people. And now, uh, drawing the motorcycle. My skills in drawing uh, vehicles is absolutely terrible. But as I said, I'm just concentrating on the storytelling aspect of the drawing. And then I, I, I actually liked this composition. The only thing that uh, made me feel a bit uncomfortable with this is um, the 3D-ness of the drawing. I think it has little of the Z-axis. I need to work on uh, my camera angles a bit more. But in terms of the shapes, I love the shapes. And now here, I will start checking out my silhouette to make sure that I have something quite interesting. And as you can see, yeah, the silhouette isn't bad. It could be better, but for, st for the start, I think this is quite uh, interesting for someone like me that has always been drawing just portraits <laughs> all this uh, time in my art life. So, now, just to add a little bit of details to the characters, started fleshing out some more little subtle details. Uh, the guy riding the bicycle, the kid seated at the front, and the two girls seated at the back. I didn't go much into costume design. It's probably another area that I should... Uh, invest a lot of time studying because as you can see I'm just drawing some generic clothes on these characters made this character smile <laughs> I thought it would be interesting I was going for giving all these characters different emotions as you can see the guy has sort of a gentle smile uh, this 
girl in the middle is smiling and then the girl seated at the back with the large <laughs> ponytail uh it has sort of a more humble look to her but all their costumes are sort of generic i couldn't think of something interesting to do with them maybe a few buttons here and there and that was really just about it and yeah i want another thing i wanted to do is try to convey the weight of the characters onto the bicycle that's why you see um i i sort of added folds at the base of at the base of the clothes yeah at the surface at which they are sitting you can see that i added certain folds there and then to make the baby a bit more interesting i decided to draw a hoodie and give the baby some antenna like insect antenna i thought that would create a lot more interest and pointing to the front so that we it gives it a more storytelling direction to it and then it was time for the motorcycle very very complicated i've never drawn a motorcycle before but um well there's always a the first time uh, adding some more shadows ambient occlusion as <laughs> they call it technically and then forging some random details on the motorcycle some springs at the front another thing i really struggle with is detailing detailing is just so hard for me but it's something that i'm trying to practice <laughs> if you can't do it you can fake it so i try to create some random details that absolutely make no sense <laughs> but uh just to make the drawing a little bit busier i draw some contour lines some basically small small lines to make to exaggerate the, the level of detail which is something that is not my strength at all but hopefully with time i'll get better at detailing uh objects and probably draw more vehicles this is like the second time i'm attempting to draw a motorcycle and have it had a good experience doing it but it's quite interesting the once you have your reference pictures at hand you can find some little details to add and yeah you pretty much get something close to the real thing then during the backlight and some metal works on the motorcycle so i keep on i keep turning my rough sketch on and off as you can see for some reason i find that when i keep my rough sketch on which i'm drawing over i like how it feels uh it adds a certain uh, level of interest to the sketch to my thinking <laughs> that's why i don't fully delete the my rough sketch path i always keep it in the background and just reduce its opacity and then draw cleaner line work at the top of it uh in while drawing this another thing i struggled with is the leg of this guy shoes is another subject that <laughs> i really need to work hard on but yeah i know with time i'll get there so you guys uh if you are struggling with making storytelling art just like me <laughs> i would like to hear your experience in the comments section please be sure to tell me uh what you're doing to fix that problem what you're doing to make more storytelling art uh all your ideas would be helpful for me because i want to 
start drawing more emotionally appealing art instead of continuing with drawing portraits after portraits which are so basic and you know they lack that story aspect to it so thank you for watching and see you soon